Hey, what's up, my friends? Oh, gosh, it is kind of overcast right now. Maybe we'll get a better, better lighting right here. Anyhow, we are, are trying out a paddle tail that is new to me. I've seen this brand around a couple times. I never have uh, actually used them. It is a paddle tail by Reaction Innovations. And I'll get more into this bait and exactly what I thought about it uh, after the uh, video, after we get some good fish on. But we're going after some large mouse, maybe some spots if we're lucky enough. We'll, we'll see what happens. This one is called the Little Dipper and the color is white trash. I thought that was kind of funny. But anyhow, guys, let's get some fish on. Thanks for joining me. This bag did come with nine baits. I don't know if somebody like reached in there and pulled one out. I haven't looked it up yet. Seems like kind of an odd number to have in a bag though. There we go. All right, first fish, guys. That took a while. We were just kind of jigging it around. Oh, and a pretty one at that. There we go, nice large mouth. We are warm. Water's warmer than the air, that's for sure right now. All right, set this rod down. Wow, really a uh, really beautiful coloration on this one. Lips a little red, eating some munch on some craws or something, huh? First fish, all right, on the bait. All right, guys, so we got our first fish on a beautiful um, large mouth here, probably around a pound, um, real pretty real slow bite i've been out here maybe 25 minutes didn't have much luck so i just started kind of jigging around bottom bouncing this uh, paddle tail and uh, got us a strike so i'm pretty thrilled about this i'm gonna get her back in the water and we're just gonna keep on going real nice healthy looking fish though all right all right guys well we are on our way over to another spot with the water level as high as, as it is, excuse me, I think it's gonna be a lot more productive. I'm not 100% sure, but it is worth a try. We've been here about an hour, caught one fish. We're gonna just hop around. Oh, okay, big old bass right there. Wow, that may have worked out for us. Let's see if we can't get We 
just can't win today, guys. I am snagging every which way. It's absurd. I'm missing beautiful fish. Got one. Got him. I got him. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. I was just complaining. Oh my gosh, you choked that bait. That's a big old, big old white. Alright, I'm gonna need some pliers. Was that you making all that noise? No way. They are extremely aggressive. He must have been looking at that bait while it was snagged. Look at that snake shed. Isn't that how it works? Whenever you start talking crap, you end up catching a fish. Beautiful, beautiful white. Get you back in there. All right, back on to the other side. Let him, man, man, bent my hook out pretty bad. I'm not even gonna bend it back into place. I know I'm just gonna regret that. We'll tie a new one on. So I see a dead, uh, it's like a little carp or something. This doesn't always work, but sometimes it does. Sometimes there would be like fish attracted to that. Got him. Nice fish. Nice fish. <laughs> Drum. Been catching a lot of y'all lately. Flip him. I do have the old 14 pounder on. I trust it. Thought I'd put my pliers in my pocket. Guess not. Kind of hooked him a little weird. Jam there like that. There we go. Nice size drum right there. Pretty big one. Took the bait. That's what I'm saying about casting around those kind of dead floating fish. Sometimes you'll have a. Uh, other fish attracted to that. We'll, we'll get you back in there. I've had some luck. All right, third fish on. Third species, really. Let's try that one more time. Huh? All right, guys. So I just saw a hog, a straight hog, come up. Can't seem to be getting any of their attention. The bite is extremely tough right now. So I've tied on a double rig. I'm just using one line. I don't have two lines. I tied an extremely long Palomar knot and I tied the uh, second one onto that line, the excess from the polymer. And I'm gonna throw this out there in an area where I don't think I'm gonna snag. I'm gonna try to catch this fish. I'm telling you that thing looked like a four pounder at least. 
I saw it come right up. Whipped in my swim bait after it. Could not get its attention, so maybe this will help. All right, this should do it. It's right around here. Okay. <laughs> Yellow bass. That is our fourth species of the day. And yeah, we're going to keep throwing around this uh, double rig. You do have to be somewhat careful on hooking these fish, especially when they wiggle like this one. Nice yellow bass. So we are getting a little attention. I haven't had a bite in about, I don't know, two hours. And within throwing this in three casts, we have uh, gotten one already. So this is good. Hey, what's up my friends? I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I had a great time making it as always. So I did have a bit of a, a longer lapse of time in putting out this video. I've been trying to put them out every two days, maybe three days tops. However, I did have some family in town, so I really didn't get around to editing it and uh, filming this recap until um, right now. Anyhow, we were throwing the Reaction Innovations Little Dipper. So, nice little uh, paddle tail. Um, Decent looking body. This color is white trash. I thought that was hilarious. Real cool color. It's like a translucent pearl with some kind of silvery glitter in there, like holographic looking glitter. Uh, cut is not super clean. You can see there's a lot of little excess plastic on the tail. I don't know if that's showing up. Not a big deal though. However, one thing I did not like, I was not super impressed with the action. So there still was action, and I've thrown uh, paddle tails that had little to no action that I was super unimpressed with. This one did have have some action. Do I think I lost fish because of it? I don't really know. Probably not. Uh, could I have thrown a better paddle tail? Um, absolutely. Is there value in this? I think so. However, it seemed like only the back inch was really flapping and I was throwing it on a fairly small ball head jig. I was throwing on a big bite baits uh, ball head, uh, quarter ounce ball head jig. Now, I think this is probably a smaller ball head jig than the majority of people would throw on this. I think it looks like it's designed for an EWG hook. I think majority of people would be throwing it on something like that, uh, which I can't imagine. I don't know, have no idea what the action would be like throwing it on that, but I purposely throw these uh, smaller swim baits, smaller lengthwise swim baits on ball head jigs to give them more action. And I really wasn't putting out as much as I think a paddle tail should. But uh, it was fairly inexpensive. I want to say it was five, six bucks for nine of them. Kind of an odd count, but it's better than seven. And a lot of these uh, paddle tail companies throw out seven counts. So that's uh, what I got to say about the bait. Uh, caught some decent fish though. Big multi-species day. Caught four different species, so that's cool. I was throwing that on a St. Croix Victory. This is the Grunt. It's a 7-1 medium heavy fast action wide. Just a brood of a rod. <laughs> it's a fine rod. I put it through heck and back i know that for sure uh, being a bank fisherman fishing rip rock primarily i've smacked it around countless times it's fine i had a a chronarch on there with a, a 14 pound uh fluorocarbon so this chronarch is the uh, seven gear ratio i think it's a seven one i'll throw it in the description i'm not sure it's kind of this reel has seen uh, is quite beat up it is the uh, 150 mgl and it has seen uh, a little bit of action that's for sure over the past couple years anyhow guys i hope you all enjoyed the video i had a great time making it thanks for joining me always a pleasure uh, i should be putting out my next one on tomorrow or the next day i gotta catch up i got a few i gotta clean up uh, some of these drives i got packed full of footage but anyhow guys take care of yourselves take care of each other and i hope you all get some great fish on Take care, everybody. I will see you soon.